Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Srijan and I'm a mechanical engineer by profession and a mechatronic enthusiast. So in this video, we're going to learn about installing the node red on this Raspberry Pi. Let's browse to the node red website, documentation page and getting started, click on Raspberry Pi option. So here in this page, we will get to know what are the commands which have to be used uh, to install the node red on Raspberry Pi. I have mentioned the link to this website in the description below. So now we know the commands from this website. So the next step is we will have to log into the Raspberry Pi. If you are not familiar with the setup of Raspberry Pi and what are the different ways to connect to Raspberry Pi, check out my previous video and also have mentioned the link to that video in the description as well as in the card above. So in this video, I'll be using the PuTTY uh, terminal emulator to log in to Raspberry Pi. It's one of the way to connect to Raspberry Pi without the aid of monitor or the other peripherals. So let me just uh, open PuTTY software. So the next step is uh, I need to know the IP of my Raspberry Pi. So I'm using a advanced IP scanner software wherein my laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, my raspberry pi is also connected to the same network so i'm just searching for the ips of different devices connected on this network and then i finally find my raspberry pi on uh, 168.178.43 so i use this ip address on in the putty host name and i use the port s22 ssh communication and click open so now the the terminal uh, emulator opens wherein i log in as the pi that is uh, the the host name of my Raspberry Pi and it asks for the password. So you enter the password and you're logged in. So now it's time to use the commands to install the node red on the Raspberry Pi. So you can start following the steps I'm doing on the screen. So what is this first command? We need to make sure that uh, the NPM is able to fetch and build any binary modules it needs to install. What is a binary modules? It's it's nothing but uh, it's like an assembly. It's like uh, you might have also come across .dll files. These contains uh, CMD lets classes. CMD lets classes is nothing but uh, is a small lightweight command that is used in Windows PowerShell environment. So what does it do? It typically exists as a small script that is intended to perform a uh, like a specific tasks or a function such as copying files and changing directories. So what is this NPM? NPM is nothing but it's it's like a package manager uh, when you're using Node, uh, Node uh, JavaScript platforms. It's, it, it, it actually puts the modules in the place so that the node can find them uh, easily. And most commonly it is used to publish, uh, discover or install and develop node programs. So next you need to use the bash command. You have to use the bash command and specify the script name that you want to execute. As you can see in the command that they have mentioned the HTTPS link. So that is the script which runs. So also you can uh, use that URL and see what script is it uh, when you paste it in the browser. So this installation will take some time. So once the installation is complete, you can use this command hostname to see the IP of the Raspberry Pi. I need to access the node red from my laptop, which is installed on the Raspberry Pi. So as you all know that the Raspberry Pi and our laptop is in the same local network. And firstly, we will run the node red from the command prompt in the Raspberry Pi. And then we will use the laptop browser to access the node red using the Raspberry Pi IP address. So here you can see that I ran the IP address without running the node red in the command prompt in the Raspberry Pi. So for, uh, firstly, you need to run the uh, node red using the command, which I'm showing you here on the screen. Yeah, so you run this command and then the node red starts running in the Raspberry Pi. So once this is running, you can use the IP address and access the, uh, the, the node red on the Raspberry Pi from the browser. So here you can see we are able to access the node red. 
Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful and if you think it might help your friends, please share with them and let them know about it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.